Hello and welcome to Devotions for Tuesday, September 8th. And with us today is Bob Weeks and Bob and his wife, Kathy, you are part of the Synod's Subcommittee on Hunger. And how long have you been a member? How long have you and Kathy been here at English? Well, we moved here in 2013 and we joined that fall, so. So about seven so years. About seven years okay. that we have been members okay. here, yeah. All right, well, thank you for being with us today and um, you'll see Bob also on Thursday. But um, my theme today is love does what is good. And Bob is going to read the text. From Romans chapter 13, beginning at verse 8. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Thank you. Well, as you may remember, um, Bob actually read this text on Sunday for us. Actually, he read a little bit longer text. But I wanted to come back to it because it all really comes back to love. And what's fascinating here is there's a play on the Greek word for debt, which returns to the thought of agape, which is Greek for love, that happened back in verse 12, or verse, chapter 12, verse 9. And the debt of taxes, which can be paid, recalls the debt of love, which can never be repaid. Love for God and love for each other. Paul echoes what he has read in the Old Testament and also Jesus's words in the gospel. The essence of the law lies at God's core, that love lies at God's core for all creation. And the revelation is simple, but yet profound. The book, All I Really Needed to Know, I Learned in Kindergarten by Robert Fulgham, had it right. Be nice, share, hold hands when you cross the street to keep each other safe, be kind, forgive, love, do no harm, build each other up. Everybody's artwork goes on the bulletin board because every single one is wonderful. We don't insult, we don't shout, we don't rant, we don't discriminate. But the world reminds us every day that, not, that it's not simple to love people or doing good to our neighbor. It seems that at the core of many people, especially those we're hearing about in the news lately, that at the core it comes a lot closer to not loving our neighbor and doing harm to them. Now, as Christians, we are called to be different from the world. We are to love God and love each other. We love because God first loved us. As a follower of Jesus Christ, we are to love our neighbor as ourselves, and love is an action. Love does what is good to our neighbor, and that neighbor is anyone we meet. And remember that you are never alone. God is with you, loving you, and transforming you each and every time that you reach out to love those around you. Bob, can you lead us in prayer? Yes. Lord, you have said that to truly love you, we must also love our neighbors, which can be difficult when we disagree on big or small matters. Gently remind us that by your grace, you sent your son Jesus to be with us and to love us, just as we are, sins and all. Teach us to love our neighbors as you have loved us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now may God bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen.